Hey, what's happening, YouTubers? We're back with a brand new unboxing video. Today we have the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Peacemaker from the King Shark Collect to Build Wave. Now, of course, Peacemaker is being played by the one, the only WWE Champ John Cena. That's right, John Cena himself, the 16-time world champion, the man with the golden shovel. Shuffle. That big shut. That big shovel, that's what you're gonna do and you're gonna bury. Anyways, enough about his WWE history. He's set to make his debut in the DC Universe on the big screen. And I'm not sure, I know it's it's coming out soon in August. I don't have the exact date. But anyways, enough about that. Let's go ahead and like we always do, we'll get started with the package art first. Inside of the packaging, it has the Suicide Squad title at the above. In the middle, it says Peacemaker and then Suicide Squad again. And on the back of the packaging, you see an image of Peacemaker, the collect -a build figure, King Shark right there, then the other figures needed to complete him. And at this point, let's be real, I only need two more figures. I'm probably going to end up collecting all of them just so I can build King Shark. All right, enough about the packaging. Let's go ahead and get the man that you can't see out of the packaging. And here he is out of the packaging. Like we always do, we're going to get started with his accessories first. All right, first accessory, you all already know this, DC Multiverse base plate. It comes with every DC Multiverse figure from McFarlane Toys, or actually every McFarlane Toys figure in right now comes with a base plate stand and I know a lot of reviewers and myself included will always gloss over this but honestly I just want to take a second I do appreciate them uh, packaging this with every figure because not a lot of manufacturers do that so I do appreciate it next accessory is the card of Peacemaker and then on the back of it is a little read up on him feel free to pause it if you want to go ahead and read it next accessory we're going to look at is the sword that he comes with and I'll be honest with you I don't think I'm going to display him with the sword because I'd rather display him with a gun like he was in the movie um, but the cool thing is there's a detail in the sword it kind of looks like his logo on his chest right there all right next accessory pieces we're going to look at are actually the collectible pieces for King Shark and I'll be honest when I held the box of the figure I was wondering why it's heavy as a mofo it's because of these like if you actually guys, if you buy the figure or if you see it in the stores, just like hold the box and you'll feel how heavy these arms are, which is cool because apparently this is going to be their biggest collective build piece uh, so far. And I'm probably going to get the other pieces. So at some point, look for a review on that. All right, enough about the accessories. Before I go forward, I just want to let you all know there won't be a stop motion articulation this week. Unfortunately, been a little bit busy last few days. But anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at the figure itself. And first thing I want to do is look at the head sculpt because... To me, this looks pretty close to John Cena, in my opinion. I know there's two versions of this figure. There's going to be one with his helmet, this one, and another variant where he doesn't have his helmet. And to be honest, I think I like this one way better because, to me, that looks more like John Cena than the one with the unmasked head. Um, the detail is definitely there in terms of his costume and the texture on there. The only thing I'm a little bit worried about, I think there was a little bit warping the way it was packaged, but that's all good. And another thing I was concerned about was I was like, oh, there's no torso articulation, but... It turns out they have like this weird joint in there so you can still, it's it's hidden underneath the shirt which is cool because it hides the little cuts but you can still move them forward like that so you can still have them in dynamic poses. Um, it still has those ankle ball joints and those wrist ball joints but you know what I'm not complaining because the figure in my opinion looks pretty solid. I mean comparing it to the source material it is a pretty basic suit so I think McFarlane Toys crushed it in terms of like the detailing on his suit they have the lining here and you can see it on his figure as well the only thing is it's like nitpicky stuff uh, the buckle is actually black and then it's just painted navy blue here and it looks like he's actually missing his clips because of course he doesn't come with a gun but I mean overall I mean I think they did a really good job uh, getting it accurate to the source material uh, but let me know in the comments what you all think and like I mentioned before since there is no stop motion articulation I'm going to go right ahead and jump into size comparisons. So here he is next to Harley Quinn from the same wave and from the same movie. And to McFarlane Toys' credit, um, they're actually working on scaling because he's clearly bigger than Harley Quinn. I know a lot of people out there nitpick that, you know, the figures aren't always in scale. But give credit where credit's due. McFarlane Toys is definitely working on that scaling issue that they received back when the first wave came out. And keeping it in the DCEU and McFarlane Toys' DC line, here he is next to the black suit Superman and Batman from the Snyder Cut movie. And keeping it within the McFarlane Toys line, here he is next to some My Hero Academia figures. We have Deku and Ochako, My Shit in Heart. Here he is next to McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Shriek from the Joker Bot Collective Build Wave. I actually just got this recently, and man, this is easily one of my favorite McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse figures this year. I'm actually working on a top 10 figures uh, so far of 2021. Uh, look for that to be posted relatively soon, but this thing is pretty sick. 
Here he is standing next to the rock from Mattel. And I'll be honest, I don't know what the hell this thing is from or what series it is. I just remember picking it up for stop motion. And he had the layout, the smack it down shirt, which was pretty cool because I remember that from back in the day. Uh, but yeah, just because he's John Cena, that's why I pose him next to the rock, a.k.a. Black Adam. I mean, my overall thoughts on this figure is that I think it's really good, in my opinion. I think McFarlane Toys crushed it, and they knocked it out of the park with this figure. Uh, I'm stoked to see the movie. You know, when it comes to this whole wave, I think I'm going to pick up the rest. Like I said, uh, I think it's a lot better than the Harley Quinn figure. The Harley Quinn figure is okay. I just wish they had gone with their other suit. But in terms of the Peacemaker figure, I think it's a really good figure. Um, the detail and sculpt is definitely there, like it always is for McFarlane Toys figures. And I'll be honest, the last few figures I've picked up from McFarlane Toys recently has really like crushed it. They've knocked it out of the park, and I think they're stepping up their game. But uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below what you all think about the figure, and also will you be watching the Suicide Squad? And uh, like always, if you haven't yet, please hit that like button, and also subscribe if you're not already subscribed to the channel. Thank you for watching, because I think there was a mandate. Oopsies.